Hey, Blab Dads, beautiful Wednesday morning. I here, I am here at the University of South Carolina and I'm with my friend. It's Cocky! <laughs> yes, so this is, a, this is the icon and mascot of the University of uh, South Carolina. He's got even got his own name embedded in the ground. So pretty cool. Um, what a beautiful campus. Let me get out of the light here. Uh, right now, uh, if you're located in Cocky, um, he's right by the Milton Observatory. Uh, how do I know that? Because um, as I was walking around the University of South Carolina, right by the visitor center, there's this mailbox called Maps. I picked up a map, and it's a self-guided tour of the University of South Carolina. And uh, the first place that I, before I even got the map, I walked around what's called the Horseshoe. Horseshoe um, are a series of buildings built in the 1800s. Uh, that throughout the years have been destroyed by fire or reconstructed and now they ha house different colleges including the the, the, the president uh, the current president of uh, USC uh, USC of the East Coast if you're thinking USC Southern California we're not there folks we're here on the East Coast of uh, United States so I'm gonna start walking and talking uh, what a beautiful place oh my goodness um, there's this place called the Horseshoe, and that's where I was talking about all the, uh, the buildings there. And um, this campus is amazing. Um, it's beautiful. Unlike the campus I'm used to, uh, I went to the University of Central Florida. It started in 1969. Guess when USC started? And it wasn't called USC. It was called South Carolina College at first. So it was um, 19, sorry, 19, 1801, 1801, yes, that long ago, 1801, over two decades, USC has come from its humble beginnings as a college into this uh, uh, beautiful university. Um, there's so many trees here, I love it. Uh, being in the summer, as I have heard from a, a gentleman called Mr. Roy, who tried to bring me to the bookstore, but the bookstore has been closed, libraries closed, Things have been closed since, you know, um, around March because of the pandemic. Well, um, unfortunately, I couldn't go there, uh, but I found it on the map. So I'm walking to, I think I'm here. Yes, I'm at the Horseshoe. So as I continue to walk, another place that I went besides uh, looking at the bookstore and um, the library is I went to the Strom Thurmond Wellness and Health uh, Center. And uh, wow, what a beautiful facility. I talked to uh, Justin, great guy. He asked me all the right questions. He was wearing his mask. Um, you know how I love aquatics. So I went to the aquatic, I looked over and uh, lifeguards were wearing masks and gloves while they were guarding. So those of you who don't know Blab Dads, I'm, aqu I'm an aquatic person. I used to, I teach lifeguard classes and swim instructor classes. And uh, yeah, we're here. So we're here at the visitor center at the McKissick Museum, right behind us, right there. Where did I find the map? This one, right over here. See where I'm pointing? Right there, that's where the maps are. And uh, what a beautiful walk. People are walking, um, older uh, people are walking around this campus. Normally 30,000 students are running around here. As I had heard from uh, uh, Justin, who worked at the, uh, the Wellness Center, um, there are um, 7,000 7, students here on a Wednesday morning, close to 8 o'clock. I'm barely seeing anybody. But one of the biggest things that I want to talk about is um, the statues and the memorials to South Carolinians as well as um, slaves. Now, why am I talking about this? Why is this so important? Because all over the country right now, people are tearing down historical or defaming historical um, monuments and statues. Why? Why are you people doing that? There's, there's no reason to. Our past is our past. We can't get rid of our past. Why do that? <laughs> whether it's Confederate, whether you like it or not, people erect that stuff just because it gives memorial to what had happened in the past. Whether it's good or bad. I'm not saying it's it, that you, you, you shouldn't not like it, but you know, it, it, it behooves me to say 
that you're tearing down pieces of history. Now, one of the, the, one of the things they do at University of South Carolina is that they honor what had happened during those times. They talk about slaves here. They talk about a slave um, uh, house that's over here that housed some slaves that constructed all these buildings, and they honor them. They honor them. They're not tearing those things down. There's even a tree named after uh, Robert E. Lee right over here. Right here, Robert E. Lee, who was the Confederate general um, during the Civil War. You don't see people tearing down the tree or defaming that. I mean, there's all kinds of memorial to the Confederates over here. Why? Because this was a Confederate state at the time during the Civil War. So, people, think. If you tear down the history, then guess what? The history is gone because nobody knows anything about it, whether it's good or bad. So you put memorials up, whether it's... Anyway, I'm on my soapbox, and I'm going to stay on that soapbox because after I walked around this, this grand university... Um, you still have to look forward in the future, and college is that place. To look forward in the future, look at the past, learn from it, and be able to move forward. And that's where we are in 2020. Um, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let me get back to what I'm talking about. Um, this is probably my longest blab that I've ever done. But So being here at the Horseshoe, uh, my friend Nikki told me all about it. you got to go to the Horseshoe. Um, beautiful. It's huge. This this park right here, and then the buildings on each side. Wow! Y'all got to come here. If you are a University of South Carolina student, or lived here in Columbia, South Carolina, and you've been to this uh, wonderful university, um, tell me about it. Like, share, or subscribe to Blab Dads. Tell me all.